Hi, Mark Fitzpatrick here. I'm so glad that you made it to this video. I'm not sure where you got the link from, but regardless of where you got it from, it's telling me that you are interested in selling your home soon or at least sometime down the road, or at the very least, you're just interested in learning about the modern marketing edge process that I use, my group uses. And this is really, really important because, right, what's the goal of selling your home? It's not to get just an average amount, it's to get the highest amount, the most profits, and also do it in a way that is smooth, seamless, safe, and less stressful for you. And what if I said those two actually go well together, right? One helps the other one to happen, but only, only if you're using the modern marketing edge process, right? So first of all, I'm gonna use 14801 Spring Meadows Drive in Darnstown, which as of the time of me recording this February 3rd, 2021, Super Bowl week, there is a, a contract. It's already going to be going to settlement smoothly at the end of the month. But let's just say that this house went for at least $25,000 over. In my opinion, I think that the owners as well by the modern marketing edge process that I used. It surprised them in terms of what they got. And you'll hear from them. Start with what the typical process. This is what the vast majority of every real estate agent does. They take some pictures. Sometimes they're bad, but most are taking okay or good pictures now. And they put it up on the MLS. And maybe they send an email out <laughs> to realtors email boxes, which are just inundated, right? We're, we're tons of emails. Those aren't selling house. And maybe they're also doing a video, a very basic video. What did you see from this property? You saw an HGTV style video, right? To draw attention to the magnificence of this property, which is what we would do with your home. Um, but let's step back, right? That's all about getting to that point, drawing attention. It starts a little bit before there. The modern marketing edge process for me that I've formulated starts actually in a very archaic manual way. And that is you and I walking every last bit of your house and your property to see where we can amplify the, uh, the main selling points, the benefits, and sort of remove any impediments in the eye for things that could throw people off. And that could be something very, very simple. It could be in, in, a, in a recent home, and I'll show you the, the video right here. This is a condo that I'm renovating for a client. That's part of the process that I go through too. Um, no worries, I'll take care of everything. In this case, I am from start to finish, but you can see where the flooring in just the little laundry closet in this condo in North Bethesda uh, looks different than the new flooring. And that just threw my eye off. So I want to remove that impediment. So we would walk every last bit of your house and your property to remove any impediments that might throw people off. And those could be things like uh, a little piece of rotted wood that you might have missed around a window. Um, any little thing like that. We're going to look for simple things. We're going to look for things that are no cost other than a little bit of time, in which case if you need some labor, I've got the team that can take care of those things and moving things off the property, cleaning it up, touching it up, whatever it needs. Once we've done that, once we've got the house ready, now I bring in my team. I bring in my photographer, my video guy, and we get the right images, the right video, and we put it together into multiple assets that we then push out through so many different channels. And uh, that's where this comes into play. Now you can see back to that HGTV style video I did for this property. What does that do? Is that the typical video? No. Does it take more time and more money? Yes. Does it put your house in a different light? Does it, all the other ones are here? Does it put yours up here? Yes. That's what we want. Spotlight on your house. Not average, not typical, and not just hoping and waiting, right? This is a seller's market as of right now when I'm recording this, but we can still squeeze out a little bit more. It's sort of like a nightclub or a restaurant. I know several people that own those. If you remember, especially back in the days where there'd be a line outside, the line outside is not because those people couldn't necessarily get in because it's too crowded. No, the line outside is so you and other people going by look at it and say, wow, that place is really busy. That looks like the place to go, right? People want to go where other people are going. So we want to create that kind of demand for your house. And the way we do that is through all those different media assets that we put together. We spin out in different ways, multiple forms, day after day, until the launch date. 
I mean, for this particular property, I had people calling me in advance to come in and see it. And that's exactly what we want. We want that line outside the club, but this way it's for your house. And so what that does when we put them in through targeted ads, through uh, videos, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all these other places, and, and then sending out special pages that you can send out to your social sphere, which gets people to go and take a look at it. And that I send out, it keeps churning and churning and churning. So thousands of people are seeing your property, thousands. And then that drives them up to want to come in and that's where we have that tight window. And that's where it becomes safer in this time, especially, but anytime. You don't want people trampling through your house anymore. You have to. So we typically do it through a later Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then we shut down. That's the plan. By doing that, by amplifying that, by people seeing others coming in and out, they realize they have to act quickly. And that brought us multiple offers and it brought us well above the, the, the price that was targeted. And it also brought us offers that then I would go and vet, put them through a spreadsheet. And in this case, I would talk with the owners, which one's going to be best for them. Because we have to think about oftentimes, as in this case, what's the next home? Where are you going next? So when you engage me, I become a master through the process of helping you to sell and buy at the same time so that it's seamless, so that we can make it all work. Now, remember, we have to think ahead. The modern marketing edge process, um, you might say, well, what does that have to do with the, the place I'm buying? It has a lot to do with it because the better offers we get, the more offers we get where we can look at them and see which one fits best for the seller of the home that you want to buy, being able to accept your offer. And believe it or not, I've been able to, because of the, the, the right structuring, get them to accept that offer even with the contingency much more difficult at this time but it's more possible when the offers coming in on your place are structured in a way that are super appealing and easy for the seller of the home you want to buy you can see that that's no problem i can sell them on that being able to your house being able to close no issues so they can accept your offer with confidence so now once we have the contract i'm continuing right overkill right i'm continuing to spend money on advertising and marketing to keep your property out there why my clients even here said why why when, when do you stop i said i stop when we're at the finish line when we're at the end because i don't want to take anything to chance i'd rather spend more i'd rather put in more effort i'd rather do everything possible just in case so that way we have backups and uh, we're prepared right over preparation in this case pays off. So that's a little glimpse into the modern marketing edge process. And there's a lot more details in this machine behind the scenes, right? I think you could hopefully get an idea that it's a lot more than what you would be expecting. And that's what I want for your property. So I hope that that um, answers some questions why you came to this video. I hope it gives you a little glimpse and I hope that you would um, want to sit down, walk your house, talk, Zoom, whatever you want right now, I'm okay with it. I'm comfortable. I've been out every day since uh, um, whatever March of last year when all this started and uh, I'm able to navigate whatever way is most comfortable for you. But in any event, I'm, I'm thankful for your time and I hope to hear from you soon. Please take my contact information down, store it on your phone. And if right now, this week isn't the right time, whatever it is, just message me and we'll sit down. I'll come visit you at your house if you'd like and we'll talk about your situation. Even if it's a few years down the road, more than happy to do so. It's a process and the sooner you're starting that process, the better prepared we can be, the more we can maximize the results, the profits from your house. Take care, have a great day. This is Jamie Cook and this is my wife Claudia. And um, we're on camera right now because we're gonna to explain to you how great Mark is as a real estate agent and also a friend. And that's what he's grown to be. Uh, this is our second house that Mark has somehow sold. Um, it was never an easy project, but he made it look easy. And I have to admit, and, and I think you will, that when he said he would sell the house in three days, I was very skeptical um, because it, you know, houses are hard and it wasn't exactly the perfect market or a perfect situation. But lo and behold, he did, and I thought it was pretty incredible. 
and along the way, um, the way Mark operates, it's 100% professionalism, but he's become a good friend. Very reliable. Um, I love his videos and all the marketing tools that he used to promote the homes. Um, I mean, it's a pleasure to be with, uh, you know, work with Mark. And not only like my husband was saying, it's just more than a realtor, it's our friend. It's somebody that we can trust. Um, he's very reliable, so when we needed something to be done in the house, he was always there for us. And it was a pleasure to be working with him. And I'm pretty sure that you, and, you know, you're with me on this. Moving forward, the only person we're going to be using to sell our homes will be Mark. Yeah, I agree. You know, <laughs> the, the thing that blew me away was the digital marketing. Absolutely. I mean, that video, um, I was like, wow, I want to buy that house. It was our house. so. Um, but it, I think that's what one of the things, uh, besides his personality uh, that comes out when he's selling the house, but also the digital marketing campaign just took it to another level. Mm -hmm. And it really um, showed the people um, that it wasn't just a house, it was a home. And right. they could uh, visualize themselves living in it, just like we did. Um, when we saw the house. Um, so I, I think that really took it to another level Absolutely. and helped uh, the house move as fast as it did. So it wasn't just, hey, post a house like a lot of agents do on the web and people find it and come look. There was a whole digital campaign and it was thought out. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that made it makes a big difference of what, how Mark operates compared to other agents out there. Absolutely. I think the, the other thing that was impressive was um, you know, both our sales, uh, you know, to put it in perspective, I used to have hair and now I don't <laughs> because both sales were contingent on the sale of our house. And I never realized I did the first, the last house and then again this house, how much pressure that puts on you and stress and you're every day you're thinking about it. And it really, I think, puts a lot of pressure on the agent. And I think Mark, um, if anything settled us down and would, I remember him saying like, hey, it's going to be OK, we can do this. And, and he was right, and um, I think that is another area that he's really came, really came through for us. You know, it's great to have someone that's good at their job, but it has to transcend into something. Um, when you hire someone, you want, you know, something to come out of it. And I think, you know, the fact that, you know, the percentage of increase that we thought we were going to get for this house, it ended up being much more. Um, because of his efforts, and I think um, at the end of the day, it, he just produced results that, I mean, I know it, it uh, was much higher than my expectations. Absolutely.